Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share with you guys some settings in iOS that I never use. Usually, I make videos on new features and settings and hitting options within iOS, but I thought it would be a great video to share with you guys some of the options in iOS that I never use and the reason why. And I also want to know your thoughts in those comments down below. So, let's begin. First option I want to talk about is under display and brightness and this is going to be the true tone option now a lot of people do use true tone but for whatever reason i don't feel like true tone does a good job for me for my taste i feel like it takes away from the actual user experience so if the light is white then the iphone will display as it is now in the studio if you have a more yellowish light it will adapt to that lighting to help the eye depict the colors more naturally on screen but in my opinion i feel like true tone kind of takes away from the experience when watching videos or just simply browsing the web i don't really use true tone never have let me know if you do another option that i never use has been dormant on my device for quite some time and it is a really good option but i feel like i've never had a chance to use it or never really tried to itunes wi-fi sync now this option allows you to sync your device using your wi-fi connection directly to your computer to create backups and things like that but with the cloud being around icloud i feel like this setting i never used even though it's been around for a very very long time i want to know in the comments down below how many of you guys really use Wi-Fi sync through iTunes. This next one is the application Apple Maps. Ever since Apple got rid of Google Maps on the iPhone as a default mapping solution, they started Apple Maps. And ever since it's been plagued with so many issues, it's not reliable. At least for me, it hasn't been for years. I use it maybe once, maybe twice a year just to kind of give it that benefit of the doubt, but it always fails to provide great services for me. And ever since Apple Maps was launched, I just stopped using it because I didn't feel like the experience was as good as what Google Maps offers. And with that being said, I also turn off all the privacy settings for Apple Maps right here, like traffic under services. I turn off all the traffic near me and analytic data as well which helps save battery by the way so this is to improve apple maps since i don't use apple maps i usually have those settings turned off under privacy there's also a few settings that i hardly ever use right here if we go down to system services right here you find the option right here significant locations now this option here pretty much keeps an entire log of the places that you visit the most on your iphone to give you better services of things near you and things like that within maps but i always turn this off and clear the history just for peace of mind i don't like my device to keep logs of where i am and where i visit constantly i just don't feel comfortable with the device doing that so significant location one of the settings that i always turn off and never use in ios and last but not least let's talk about icloud services so under icloud i pretty much use everything except the photo sync in the cloud. I don't like to use that feature. I like to back up all my pictures to a physical hard drive here locally stored. I don't like my photos being in the cloud for whatever reason, but other services in iCloud I do use. Now there's a bunch of other options under the accessibility options tabs here that I don't use, but those are not applicable to everyone. So for some of the main options built into iOS for uh, you know everyone to use, these are some of the ones that I don't use and the reason why. I would love to know your thoughts in those comments down down below do you agree with some of these options that i don't use which ones don't you use i would like to know your thoughts in those comments thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace